Hi, so today I'm going to give you a quick demo of our quick joins uh, Revit plugin. So here I've got a Revit structural model open in Revit 2018. Our quick joins plugin is available for all uh, Revit versions up to the latest version. So you can download it from the Autodesk app store and you can install it. Once installed, uh, you should be able to see it in your add-ins tab and here you can see quick joins uh, come up. So uh, quick joins is, uh, you know, a tool that can help you uh, easily uh, do a lot of uh, commands related to joins and joins uh, and switch joins uh, in uh, the Revit environment. So you can do a bulk processing of all of these uh, commands, which you would have otherwise done one by one. So it's a great tool that will help you increase the productivity and speed uh, when you're doing modeling, especially of your structural and architectural elements. So now in this model, uh, for example, I've got uh, some, uh, you know, uh, elements here like floors, uh, columns, then I've got some walls, uh, stairs. So there are quite a few elements over here. <clears throat> Normally, if I would need to do, uh, you know, uh, join switch join or unjoin command how i would do it manually is i would go in here uh, select an element uh, to see yeah so see here the if i try to isolate it so the joining of this column has not been done properly so what i would need to do in this case is i would need to go into the modify panel i would need to click on switch join order click this and click the floor and now if I try to isolate it, then uh, the column geometry has uh, been corrected uh, in the way I want it. But what if I want to do this for multiple elements in a single go? So that would be a very tedious process, right? So let me just undo all of this. And let's try looking at what the quick joins add-in provides. So if I click on this, yeah. So this is the user interface uh, that you see whenever you start the quick joins uh, add-in. Here on the top, I have a set of certain categories and the, at the bottom, I have a set of some other categories. So uh, I can you know choose one category from the list on top and I can choose another category from the list at the bottom. And once I've done that, the next button gets enabled over here and then click on next when i click on next uh, you know it uh, basically reads the number of floors and the number of structural columns that are there uh, in the model and uh, the ones that the add-in will process in bulk so go ahead and click join switch join or unjoin whatever i want to do so let's click on switch join yeah, so it has performed uh, certain switch joins. Now, if I click cross here, so you'll see that these switch joins have been correctly processed automatically. Right? <coughs> and if I try to isolate the floor then yeah these openings for columns have also been created automatically earlier these weren't there so now <clears throat> let's look at some other example so what i can do is i can just isolate certain elements to look at them more closely yeah now if I run the quick joins command between floors and structural columns, click on next. So number of floors is one, number of structural columns is two. So based on, uh, you know, whatever elements you isolate or whatever elements are currently visible for you in the current view. So the quick joins tool will, you know, only work on that. So this is a useful tip when you want to only process certain parts of your model and not the whole model so you can actually use this isolate certain elements of your model and then run the quick joins tool so if i click on 
this one so it says elements which join successfully and you will see now that the floor is complete and the columns are the ones that are getting cut to quickly unjoin the different element sets what i can do is in the quick joins add-in select the category that i want to okay, select the categories that i want to unjoin so let's say walls and floors and just click on unjoin Similarly, to process the join command, what I can do is I can select set of categories from here and just click on join.